All right, we're at the Calalock Lodge campground. And this is the day use area. There's a beach trail. Looks like it's this way. Some picnic tables over here. So you can come out here and have a little picnic with your friends and family. Some pieces of wood. Alright, let's take a look at the ocean. This is the day use area of the Calalock Campground. Pretty amazing. Really nice. Calalock Campground Day Use Area. Lots of people here. Did not expect to see this many people. The parking lot was kind of full though, and the campground is full. So it makes sense. beach fire someone built. I think there's a cave. Let's go explore this. These pieces of wood were put here, I think, to protect the, uh, the stairs from erosion. Pretty amazing, really cool. So this is the beach at the Calalock Lodge, or rather Calalock Campground day use area. So again, this is the beach at the Calalock Campground day use area. So these people you see here, they either are camping here in tents, which is the majority of them are in tents. Some of them are, some are in RVs, and some are just here for the day use like I am who've parked their vehicles in the parking lot. And you can see there's quite a few people here. Even far down the beach, I see people. You can see rocks out on the water. It's cold here today. It's a little bit windy, not too windy. And it was supposed to rain and it is raining a little bit, but not too much. Calalock Campground Day Use Area. Let's get a little closer to the water. It's really cold here. Probably should have brought some warmer clothes, but it's not terrible. Waves aren't very big today. This is the Pacific Ocean. And this is the Calalock Campground Day Use Area located in the United States 
in Washington State on the Olympic Peninsula. It's really far, 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 you know, northwest. And if you go north from here, I, I don't even know. I mean, there's Ruby Beach. That's another beach that's further north. But you uh, you can't go straight up. You have to you have to veer off the coast because I believe uh, it's native land or there's no road or it just there's, there's just not much out here right there's not much out here so to see people out here is pretty cool it's raining pretty hard now so I think I'm gonna head back to uh, the car but yeah really nice if you come out here in the rain just make sure you have waterproof stuff I'm wearing waterproof pants and I have waterproof hiking boots and I have a waterproof rain jacket so with the hood it's waterproof so everything's waterproof even, even my camera this is an old GoPro I'm using and I apologize about the sound I don't have my uh, mic hooked up so yeah pretty let's go back up those stairs Go ahead. You sure? Okay, I'm in no rush. <laughs> Me too. Let's go see if we can find some information about uh, staying here. Like, what does it cost? Or there's a lot of people here from out of state, a lot of people from in state. I see California tags, North Dakota tags, Utah tags. So very much a tourist destination. It's very, very beautiful here. Um, and again, not a lot of people live out here. It's hard to live out here. There's not a lot of services. There's just not a lot of things or houses. So it says here. Do not pre-register. Wait until site is empty, then occupy. Read campground regulations, registration process. Okay. And you pay in these things here. So it looks like it's an honor system type thing. So yeah, that's the... Uh, Calloc Campground Day Use Area.